Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Cooking with E and T. Cooking with E and T, what's happening? What's up, what's up, e what's up, E and T gang? What's up? That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> In the place to be. Today we eat Sunday dinner. 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 Let me get him some um paper towels. Cause Please do one thing that. I know he get to sweat, child. He get to sweat. I I have become a big boy these days. And we having baked chicken, cabbage, and we are having um baked potato. And we're gonna have all the chicken fixings when it comes down to this baked potato. Okay, please believe me. Please believe me. It's a fat boy strut. It's the fat boy strut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. But look, y'all, we are coming up on our 100 video. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to do something special with that. And I cannot wait until we get ready to do our 100 video. I thought it was, oh, 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 oh,
from drug drug addiction to prostitution and all that. And she don't mind telling it because she know where I bought it from. Mm-hmm. And and so now this woman is a cheese. this woman is an advocate. I go get up for God. You know I don't mean? blame her. When she come when she come to work, she is like. Praise the Lord, how you doing? Everything wonderful, the Lord is so good. I mean, she's just a big ray of sunshine. Mm-hmm. And me and I talk all the time because I love positivity. I, I feed off of it. I love mm-hmm. positivity. So, so um, she had, she had been saying, oh, my husband, I'm losing hours at his job. Mm-hmm. So I'm depending on God to make a way. I'm trying to work more extra hours so we can get back on our feet. Mm-hmm. So... She was saying it's about a month. So lo and behold, God answered her prayer. That that, that that night, when she was talking about it, a lady came in and she walked in and gave her eleven hundred dollars. Well, actually, one. Well, how did it come mm-hmm. that she did that? How, what the lady did? She asked her for ex specifically for she her. Yeah, no. She asked specifically for her. Mm-hmm. She said, "Ma'am, I don't know you for the man and moon." She said, "All I know is God told me to give this to you." Mm. She asked for your, she said, by name. Salt and pepper. Yeah. For the potato. She said, by name. She said, that's what God told me to do. She told me to come here. He told me to come here and give you this money. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I said, for you not to know her, for you not to know her. That was an angel. That was a straight up angel. You, mm-hmm. you feel me? You feel mm-hmm. me? That was a straight up angel. See, for her not to, for them not to know each other, mm-hmm. but God directed her to go to Cheesecake Factory to go and give you $1,100 at the blue. At the blue? It's like God and I, like, hey, go get this to Sarah. <laughs> I know. I, that right there would have just been, let, let me know, you know, how God is real. Man, that was so beautiful. Hmm. You talking about did something, did something for my soul? Hmm. You did something for me. People out there, God is real. All you got to do is believe, believe and worship. You do those two, everything else falls online. Hmm. Hmm. Baby, take the off turn. So, what you think about this, um, what is it, Simbi? Dr. Simbi. Have you heard about him? Dr. who? Simbi. Uh-uh. He is, um, uh, have you heard, have you been hearing about Nipsey? Is it a Nipsey? Let's see. I guess you know. In the restroom. Oh, yeah, uh, Nipsey. I think his name is Nipsey. Mm-hmm. He's a rapper. Mm-hmm. But he been he been um going to the Doctor Simbi to for for um health like for, for herbs herbs and he teaches he, he's 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 healing people with HIV, uh, oh. AIDS, <laughs> cancer, mm-hmm. and all that with herbs. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you how to. Manage your diet so you won't catch this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And Nipsey was he's a, he's a hardcore rapper, but he was a I guess you could say a naturalist. Mm-hmm. And he went to go see him, and just and and just just ironic how that he would die, and Dr. Simba would die at the same time. I was close by each other, and everybody thinks it's a conspiracy, but they want to shut him up. They don't. They don't want. They, they didn't. They, they didn't like the fact that he was giving out secrets on how to stay mm-hmm, healthy. Mm-hmm. Well, I about, know the doctor you're talking about. With pharmaceuticals. Because I read about it. I read about him. And I know the doctor you're talking about. And yes, he did die. But I didn't know Nipsey was saying things about what he was saying. Oh yeah. Because they had a cure for cancer. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. And but it doesn't help the he was the healthcare people because guess what it's a multi million dollar business mm-hmm. I don't really want to get into that but I understand it is a conspiracy theory on that I've mm-hmm. listened to the man talk actually myself and he was he was an advocate about helping out black people and going into the community giving jobs it's natural foods that you should eat. That's not basically like broccoli and all that right there because it's not natural eating food. <laughs> so it's a cure out there. They just don't want you to know it. Mm-hmm. However, I don't know enough. I know this food good. And that's it, and I'm trying to try to them. 
That chicken is like almost fall out the bone. I got to say fall out the bone, but for me it's fall out the bone. <laughs> it's, it's falling out the bone. Bleed, bleed. I love baked chicken, especially on top of a salad with some ranch dressing. Me and I didn't worry. You want a good woman? Does you need to hit up? You want a home good meal? Does you need to hit up? Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't hit me up for no food, baby. <laughs> but not no more. <laughs> I know a good woman when I see one. And you are it. Thank you, kind sir. Please believe it. Sweet, kind person. Giving. Loving. Nurturing. You guys, you, you, you're a gift from God, I'm glad you. Thank you, kind sir. I love that. You really are. I remember I saw you after the bees this minute. I was feeling down, down. I was feeling kind of bad. Okay. But when I saw you, Miss Minnie, okay. I know that was a God. I know that was a God. Okay. <laughs> I can't. I will not. Yes, I knew that was a God. Maybe I'll tell you, Miss Abby. I'm for my, um, okay, but just like my high song. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That was on me. What we got? I got everything in them. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna do the editing. Um. Still your audience. Outside. Yes. <laughs> <Outside. laughs> mm -hmm. Outside. 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 I don't. I go ahead. Good. You sit there and talk. We live. No, we ain't. We gonna start going. We live. Gonna... We did what it is. You gonna start going? Hey, we do the real. You ain't gotta edit nothing. I got the pepper sauce. But I got the hot sauce. In real life, you can never edit. It is because you forget stuff, regardless. Hey, if our channel is all about being real. Okay. I'm about to try to shoot up now. Not. Be yourself. <clears throat> but I did it. talk about Nipsey. Yeah. I was talking about Nipsey and I was listening to Ricky Smiley. Remember when Ricky Smiley got shot? Yeah. A long time ago here. Yeah. Mm hmm. And he was saying on the uh, radio that you don't have to stay in the hood keep going to the hood you can sit set stuff up to still do things in the hood and i agree with him because everybody's not happy for growth that you might have you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. people are jealous they 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 mad because you made it out and they still stuck down mm -hmm. and they have to realize that People have to realize that. It's okay to still do for your hood, but mm -hmm. set up programs and put people in place to handle that. Mm -hmm. Because you can't go there and handle that. Mm -hmm. You in a different tax bracket at that point. <laughs> yep. You ain't gonna leave me back here and I'm still back here and you go somewhere. People just jealous. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful who you call your friend. Man, what you say? I had so many people stabbing in my back at one point. Mm -hmm. And it was nipped to your own crew. Mm -hmm. just, just like back on that. Your own crew. Have you um saw the first purge? I have not seen that yet. I'm going to see it so bad. It is so good. And they made it like, they thought like black people would be killing each other. In their neighborhoods. And that's how they kind of like put it out. But when they wasn't doing it and they was having block parties and everything on the show, they was like, oh my God, they're having parties? For real? So what the government did on this movie is that they decided that they were going to send mercenaries in them. Hired mercenaries. And they made it sound like it was gangs. And it wasn't gangs that were doing anything. It was they all the our own government that was basically killing our lower income family. Wow. And this is a movie. 
Wow. And so on the movie, it was this guy had a crew, even though he was a drug dealer and everything. That's how they portrayed him. But baby, when it came down to the hood, he wanted for the let them just, you know. Do the hood in any kind of way. Any kind of way. Hmm. It is a good movie to tell night. I, you know, I, I think I recorded it. I pay so if you want to, I pay for that on um, my Roku. Okay, I'm trying to tell you the first purge is off the chart. Wow, I, I, I didn't think the concept was like that. Baby, he went into a housing project unit and took the whole team out by himself. The, they had the, sent the in drones. Mm-hmm. They sent in drones and everything. To kill the crew, but he got up under the car and was able to save himself. Hmm. His homeboy said, Don't think about me, go up in there and save them. It was a good movie, I promise you. It really I did not was. see I did not see that coming. Hmm. I was thinking that was I was thinking they were just everybody just killing each other or, or they have been been they was a vendetta about somebody and they want to kill them. I didn't think it was targeted toward African Americans. It was. And they, they, they expected for them to kill each other. This is what the government thought on this movie. On this movie. Mm. They thought that it was going to be a lot of murders, but it wasn't. We had like sporadic murders. And that was it. It was on the island in New York. They only had sporadic murders. And then their numbers wasn't enough because they want to be able to do it throughout the United States mm -hmm. because guess what they tell the people I, people don't write stuff for no reason they write it for a reason you got to pay for housing people that don't want to get out and work people that want to live on um the government off the government um we don't want taxes raised but they have to raise taxes in order to pay for this. And they was trying to make a point on this movie. The richest country in the world. The dead. I sound like all that is population control. It's population control. It's population control. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's population control. That's why in, in China. You only have two kids. Mm-hmm. And that's why a lot of people from China come to America because they want to have more mm -hmm. kids. How you can tell me how many oh, kids I've had? I, know. <laughs> I mean, you're like, really? That means you're not free in your area. <clears throat> exactly. Baby, this is baby Taylor. And this chicken. He dissecting that chicken over there. <laughs> it's going down right now. So, here, but later. Conspiracy. What? Wait a minute. The lady on the on the um, newspaper right now. Which one? Park lot. The lady got beat up at the park lot. Mm hmm. She. Had, it was um. He's known to be a white supremacist. He used the reason to help him. She was block, uh, blocking the drive driveway. Mm -hmm. As being an excuse to hit this woman, woman black. Mm -mm. This guy is tower. He when I say he is towering her, he is like full beard, like way bigger. And uh, he hit this woman. He she was trying to call the police. He knocked the phone out of her hand, mm. and he hit this black woman, like. I said a good five, six times. Uh, I'm talking about like she's like a man. man. Mm. Oh my god! It, it, somebody was recording it across the street. Mm. And them licks were so hard you could hear them across the street. I was sitting there like, "Are oh, you got to be kidding me?" No, why um, you didn't send me that footage? So after he beat her, I mean, I mean he, I mean he, he tore into her. Mm. The only thing she could do. She felt like she she just wanted to retaliate some kind of way, so she busted one out. Mm. That's the only lick she got. Wow. The only lick she got. This the government. This is how this how bad the system is. How about he got a misdemeanor and she got a felony? I can't. Go up. I can't. Go up. What state this is? 
in Texas, I think. <laughs> she got a felony, and he has a misdemeanor. He got out of jail for 10% of $2,000. Not surprised. Mm. Now, you got black, you got black activists that are out there trying to um, trump that charge back up. And it should be, a, it should, if you see that video, it shouldn't be a thought in nobody's head if they need to boost that charge up or not. It should be a fact. The, the way that man was torn to that one, I, I, I was still, I, I, I was on the other end of my phone looking at it, and my heart just went out to her. Mm. And you just get a slap on the wrist, and she gets a slap on the wrist. This is jacked up. I have not heard about that. Jacked up. Woman got charged with felony. And this man tore her up. I'm like, man, I'll tell you, world, stay prayed up. Wherever you go, when you leave your house, I want you to pray before you leave your house. I do it every day. You get your worship on in your car, whatever you gotta do. I'll tell you, it's a shield, it's a, a shield of protection if you pray and worship when you're in your car. And I'm being real right now. I said, and uh, by the grace of God, I haven't had a lot of experience with um, racism um, as far as like blatantly in my face. And I think it's because of worship and praise and God just sent all the right people my way. And he sent all the, he a shield of protection over all the bad people. So I just want to say, just make sure you get your worship on before you leave your house or in your car or where you're at. Just keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Cause believe me, Amen. he will protect you. He will protect you. He will protect you. And I just want to use this platform right now to let people know God is real. Yes, He is. He is so real. He brought me from here to up here. I got testimonies, honey. Baby. I have testimonies. I can sit here and talk all night. All day and all night. But, I ain't going to be able to do it. But when I tell you, this chicken is real. <laughs> <laughs> this chicken is real. God is real. This chicken is real. You know what I mean? There's nothing left to be talked about. You did that. <laughs> you know, I still forgive him. Forgive him. You know, 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 you you got a flesh wound. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you got to leave here. You got to go. <laughs> so, this is the real, real cooking with E and T. Cooking with T and E. We will see you later. Peace. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment down below, and give us some things to do again, once again. Peace. Real chicken. <laughs> 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 <laughs>